Do you have your one or many teeth missing? First, let's go through the options. Later, we'll also be discussing on why it is important to replace missing teeth. What happens if space is left with no replacement? So option number one, you have something called a partial denture and that is something you take on and off. It could be a partial denture or a flipper. Sometimes it's a little different but the same concept. Given most in situations where fixed replacements are not possible or patient needs for temporary basis. Also preferred by some as it's cheaper than other options but definitely the least desirable as it has to be taken on and off after every meal in night and taking care is required. Another option is bridge. A bridge is a fixed replacement option. In this, your dentists have to use the two adjacent teeth as kind of anchors for the missing tooth. Can be helpful in replacing one or two missing teeth. And lastly, you have an implant, which a lot of times is the best option as it saves cutting the adjacent tooth and can be done in cases where there is no tooth on last side. So let's walk you through what you need to know about this implant. Number one, eligibility. So who can get implants and who probably shouldn't? Well, typically, it has to do with bone level and overall kind of health of your gums and your bone. If you have really narrow bones, say you took out that tooth 10, 15, 20 years ago and the bone has shrunk in width-wise and height-wise, you may still be able to get an implant. But it is absolutely going to be a little more difficult. Also, has to do with your health condition. If you're diabetic, overweight, have blood clotting issues, a smoker, those may inhibit your healing. Nowadays, fast healing implants are also available which take less time to heal and are ready to use. Your dentist is the better person to decide which implant is best for you. But if you're doing an implant, it is a big deal because you're putting that implant into your jaw, into your body and it needs to heal really, really well. What are implants made of? So implants are made of a version of titanium. And why they use titanium is because they screw the implant into your bone. It allows an implant to settle into the bone and basically fuse with your jaw which makes it very very strong. And lastly, pretty much the most important thing to know is the worst thing you can do is do nothing. Because if you have a tooth that comes out, and a lot of people know this, if they had a tooth that fell out a long time ago, the other teeth will start to fall into the area and the top tooth will start to come down too. Then you go to the dentist, you say, Hey, I lost this tooth 10 15 years ago and now I want to get an implant. And then the dentist is going to tell you you can't do it because there is no longer any space or potentially that bone has shrunk to nothing. That is why when a dentist tells you, hey, you need to get this tooth replaced, whether it's with a partial replacement, bridge or implant, even just like a retainer to make sure those teeth don't shift, those are all better options than doing nothing because it's going to cost you so much more in the future if you don't do anything. At Rural Tooth, we have the in-house CAT CAM technology that is efficient in producing 3D crowns and 3D bridges in just a single visit for your missing teeth. So that is all you need to know about options for missing teeth. To decide what your suitable option for missing teeth are, you can schedule a consultation with our expert dentist at any of the branches of Rural Tooth chain of clinics. I'll see you in the next video.